What is going on, fellow Grand Thefters of Automobiles? John Ryan here with IGN, and uh, we are looking at the Spaceship Collectibles, uh, the Spaceship Part Collectibles in GTA V. Uh, now, this you actually have to trigger by starting a side mission uh, before you can actually find any of these collectibles. So head out uh, with Franklin into the desert out in Blaine County by Trevor's trailer. Uh, good alliteration there, by the way. Good day. Anyways, uh, head out there, and you will find a question mark for a Stranger Freak mission for a guy named Omega. Wait. Wait! Wait! Stop! What's the problem, Mom? Wait! Carbon-based life form. Check. Six feet tall. Check. Slightly excessive adipose tissue. Normal distribution. Check. Readings are... Readings are... Shoot. This little machine is broken again. Check. Star date 14-9-305. Time is... 789 past the Ninth Meridian. We are clear. Whew. Greetings, CBL. Carbon-based life form. Greetings, homie. Have you seen them, CBL? Seen who? I don't know. They came to me last week. There was a brilliant joy and a terrible confusion. And they were laughing and screaming and crying all at once. And some said, Omega, we come in peace. And others said, we have come to enslave you. We are an infinitely intelligent race of super cosmic beings. And out of the six billion people on this planet, we have chosen you for no good reason. And just then they were about to abduct me and do experiments on me. When their ship crashed. Man, you done lost your motherfucking mind. And now, I've got to find the pieces. Man, bullshit. Look, look. See this? Hmm? If you see some, if you see some, let me know. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will, man. What a freak! Alright, and now you've unlocked the ability to go out and collect these spaceship parts. There's 50 of them, and some of them are a real pain to find. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is actually what I consider to be probably the most difficult one to actually get. Uh, it's out in Ratten Canyon, uh, which is along the northwest coast of San Andreas. Uh, and it's actually in the struts of a bridge, so you're going to want to uh, take an aircraft. So I'm going to hop to Trevor and uh, use his helicopter. And fly up to the bridge, and we're going to fly down a little bit low. Uh, real, like right next to the bridge, real low, so you can actually see it. It's, uh, it's right there. You can see it's in the it's in the like struts of the bridge, holding it up. So you can't just get out of your car and walk to it. Um, so we're gonna have to parachute. So bring your helicopter or your plane. If you're using a plane, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So I advise using a helicopter and uh, get up to a safe distance or a healthy distance that you can parachute out of and still kind of steer your way towards that bridge and uh, just jump out. Jump out and use your parachute because you're extreme like that. And here's where you can see how I'm totally going to nail this land. Okay, no, I missed the bridge. I totally missed the bridge. And, yeah, so it's all right. I'm going to loop around, and I'm going to nail it this time. Oh, give me a break. See? See how I nailed that? I totally, that was a perfect landing. Not a thing wrong with it. Uh, anyway, so we made it onto the bridge, and now you can just walk straight up to uh, to where the part is lying in the middle. And uh, yeah, pick that up, and we're going to go to another one.
All right, so I just hopped into Monko because he was closest, and uh, you can see as we're coming over the uh, the bridge here, this one isn't particularly hard to get to. It's just uh, tricky to find. Uh, so you see as we're coming over this bridge, you see those two, like, giant concrete uh, bulbs uh, that are kind of sticking up out of the industrial district. And it's actually, you see that bridge, that pipeline going across the two of those? It's actually right in the middle of that. So you're going to get off the freeway and uh, roll down to around the side, uh, right next to those. On the west side of them, you'll find a staircase that leads up to a ladder, that leads up to the roof, and then from there you can hop in the pipeline and pick up the part. Okay, and the third one we're going to go after is really well hidden, but it's in a place that you know uh, if you've played through a little bit of the game. Uh, if you remember back to the Jewel Heist, if you're past that, if not spoilers, you escape through the tunnels. So sorry if I spoiled anything, but deal with it. Uh, so you want to take a motorcycle. You can take a car, but it's a little bit more difficult to navigate in there, I think. Uh, the bike is easier to handle. Uh, so take a motorcycle down into those tunnels, and right when you get to that section, like the ramp, and where they're building a new subway station, essentially, uh, you'll get off your bike, you'll find, you'll see all the guys working, like, hey, what's going on? And uh, if you jump over into their little construction area, you'll find it just lying there right on the ground. Okay, the next one is what I believe to be one of the best hidden uh, spaceship parts in the game. Uh, there's a bunch of them that are underwater, of course, which are tough to get to. Uh, however, this one is off uh, a, the main road going through, I believe it's Tonga, Tongva Hills, like Tongva Canyon someplace. It's over on the uh, western side of the map, uh, just past uh, like the Finewood Hills area. And you have to drive along the road, you pull over and climb up a little bit of the hill here. It kind of feels like that scene in Jurassic Park with Wayne Knight getting eaten with this weather going on. Uh, but you'll see like a cluster of bushes and this weird little cave thing. And it's so well hidden behind that, uh, those bushes in that cave. You can spot it from the air. Um, that was how we found it in the first place. But you need to... Uh, go just right through those bushes and uh, pick it up in that cave. It's just so difficult and so off the beaten path to find. You might spend, you know, hours looking for it. You might be at 49 out of 50, and this will be the one that you miss. So, uh, there's that one. last one we're going to look at in this video is uh, just a little ways north of that fourth one we looked at. Uh, this one's up on Mount Josiah, and uh, you can't, you, like, if you take an ATV up there, you won't be able to find it unless you get, like, Chop with you and he's been trained really well, or you can just walk around real quiet and listen to the sound it makes. Um, but you can see it's, it's down in this, like, terraced rock formation uh, type thing. And it's hidden from view if you're looking up the mountain to, for it, uh, so you, you want to come at it from a higher angle. Uh, in this case, we're going to parachute out of a plane because we know where it is. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, clearly, I need to work on my landing with parachutes because even on a very nice and relatively Jesus. open hill, that didn't work out too well. 
Uh, but we're looking down and we can see it. Uh, it's right down there below us, so we're just going to climb down, uh, jump across that little uh, gap in the, in the cliffside because you don't want to fall down the mountain and uh, go ahead and pick that up. So that is it uh, for this video on the spaceship parts. We'll be doing more like these in the coming days. Uh, for everything else uh, on Grand Theft Auto V, all the collectibles, characters, missions, gold rankings, cheats, especially cheats, uh, check out our wiki. It's IGN.com slash wiki slash GTA 5. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff in there. If you find stuff that we don't have yet, I don't know if you will or not, but if you do, be sure to add it in there. And for everything else on GTA 5 on the Xbox 360 and PS3, keep it tuned right here to IGN. Thank <laughs> you.